Booty Quake here from Roller Derby Athletics, the place online for derby specific training advice. I have another sweet ass kicking workout for you here today, and this one is all about agility. Now, agility is always about fast feet, right? So you know that this puppy is gonna have a lot of cardio going on, and that's why we're keeping it nice and short, but intense. We are gonna do this in intervals, so you're gonna get some intense periods of work, and then a little chance to catch your breath before moving on to the next exercise. Here is how the workout looks. We are gonna do these seven exercises, just one round through. Each one you're gonna do as hard as you can for 45 seconds, then give yourself 15 seconds of rest and move on to the next one. All you need for equipment is a hand towel and a stopwatch. As always, it is super important that you get yourself nice and warmed up before you do this workout, but especially this workout. We're gonna be jumping all around and I do not want you to twist an ankle, all right? So make sure that your feet and ankles are nice and warm Upper body too, because we're going to be using that as well. Get yourself nice and limber, and then let's have some fun. I'm already tired. That is it. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a little bit more about how to do each of those exercises properly. So the first one is swizzle jumps. Take your hands, turn them uh, back to back, put one over the other, and then you're gonna use that as like your centering point, and you're gonna jump, you're gonna twist your hips with each jump so that your front hip faces your hands. Now, you're not trying to wiggle your hands all around, you're trying to swizzle your hips and keep your hands stationary. So make sure that you get all the way around with your feet, with each jump. So it's not like this, but you're getting a full jump, okay? Mountain climbers, you've probably seen before. You just wanna make sure that you're bringing your feet up to the outside of your hands, okay? So you're not bringing your feet up in between your hands like this. You're bringing your feet up outside your hands, like so. With the side shuffles, I want you to have fun with this. This one you can really feel how light and fast your feet can be. When you touch down on either side, make sure that you're not just bending from the waist, but in fact you're getting down with your legs the way you would in derby stance. Okay, so super fast, down, super fast, squat down. Awesome. Agility hops, that's the one that you need your towel for. Just roll it up. I really recommend a towel or a t-shirt or something soft because uh, I don't mean to trip over something hard and twist your ankle. 
So you just put that down and jump over it side to side and you try to pick up your foot each time so you get a little bit extra air underneath. See how fast you can do the jumps. Blocker get-ups. I made this one up based on some football drills that I've seen. Okay, so you know you see football guys practicing on TV or something and they're in their stance. Well, let's call it derby stance. And they're going fast feet, fast feet like that. And then coach blows a whistle. You're just gonna imagine a whistle in your head. And they drop down to the ground and get right back up again. Imagine you've fallen. Someone back blocks you, you're on your face, you gotta hop back up, okay? So down, pop up. Fast feet for a few counts. And then down and pop up. Fast feet again. That's a blocker get up. Okay, and the last one today was hot crosses. Now this one, you're gonna jump with your feet in a cross formation and then you're gonna reverse it, okay? So you're gonna go forward to the center, side to the center, back, middle, left, middle, forward, and now we're gonna go back around the other way. Back, side, back, right, forward. Okay, so you're gonna go around and around, back and forth around your cross. See if you can speed this up as you go through your 45 seconds. And that's the workout. Like I said, guys, short but sweet. Seven minutes in zone, getting your agility on. Uh, if you're feeling frisky, definitely do that one a second time around. I dare you. Post on the uh, comments and let me know if you did. If you like this video, then definitely share it with a friend. Help a teammate become a better derby athlete. Hope to see you over on the blog at rollerderbyathletics.com. Till then, I just kicked your ass. Now you can go kick somebody else's.